Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to be uh, skinning some uh, interior pieces with real carbon fiber. No wrap here, we're going to be doing real carbon fiber. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. This applies to any car, doesn't apply to just uh, BMWs or anything in general. Anything, you can even do uh, your phone, you can do other things. Um, I'm going to show you the materials you guys need and a couple of the uh, things you need to get to uh, get this project done. Um, okay guys, so these are the pieces we're going to be uh, skinning. I have uh, two of these for both of my cars. This is the shifter um, trim. I also have uh, both uh, steering wheel trims that we're gonna be uh, skinning. Um, I don't know if I have more material to do other parts. If I do, I'll make a couple more, but I just wanna get started with these. Eventually we'll get some more material and we will go ahead and do the full interior on the cars, but we just wanna try a couple pieces first and see how they come out. What you're gonna need, guys, is uh, obviously your uh, resin. They sell this as a kit online. I bought it from eBay, I think it was like 20 bucks or 30 bucks or something like that, I forgot. And it came with the uh, roll of carbon fiber. This is a uh, real carbon fiber here, so try to keep it uh, straight, don't damage it, and until um, you're ready to use it. So we got our resin, we got our carbon fiber. Also, I went to Harbor Freight and I picked up uh, some sandpaper because we're definitely gonna need some sandpaper to uh, sand it down once we get it uh, hardened and cleared. And then I uh, got some brushes so we can clean some of the parts. I also ended up getting a couple uh, other things. I got this uh, rotary uh, Dremel. This will help uh, trim out some of the edges once it's all finished up. And then I picked up some new scissors so we can cut the carbon. I also picked up a bunch of brushes, different sizes. So um, pretty much have everything we need here to do it. Even with all the uh, little things we bought, we still haven't even spent a hundred bucks. So I think it's um, Real cool investment, make your car look uh, really good for less than a hundred bucks. Obviously it's gonna take some uh, labor and some... Uh... All right guys, the first step is gonna be taking your piece and getting it sanded. So we're gonna take some uh, sandpaper. We're gonna go ahead and get this rough. Once we get this pretty rough, that'll help um, the epoxy bond. So our first step will be sanding it. Once we do that, we'll get some uh, epoxy prepped up. We'll lay it on there. We're gonna give it a couple hours. Let it get sticky. Once it feels like it's getting sticky, we'll be able to lay the carbon fiber on there. The next step is we'll be adding more resin on top of the carbon fiber. We're gonna let that sit for a little bit. Once it hardens, we're gonna sand it down a little bit and block it, get the high and low spots. And then we'll be able to do three more coats of resin every two hours. So you need a little bit of time to be able to do this process. And then this right here, uh, pretty much sand it down. What you want to do is just get it all rough so the epoxy will stick to it. All right, guys, got, got these pieces all uh, sanded up. Now we're going to be uh, mixing up some epoxy here. Ready to put on the part. We'll put it on. We're going to let this sit for uh, about an hour and a half to two hours. And then we'll check it till it's sticky. Once it's a bit sticky on the part, we'll be able to lay some carbon on it, all right? We'll start with this one here. Want to put it all over the piece and just kind of get it all wet. And then we'll just leave it like that for about two hours. So let's get these wet. This epoxy um, I got from eBay. Never used it. I've never done skinning before. It's my first time.
All right, guys, the uh, carbon is laid on there. We're gonna let this cure, and then uh, we're gonna hit it again, get it wet, get all those fibers down. Once that cures, we'll get it cleaned up, and they'll start looking like a finished piece. Right, so this is uh, the progress from last night. We let them sit in the epoxy. Now they hardened. I trimmed them off this morning. They were pretty stuck to the cardboard. Uh, next time I'm gonna pick them up and not put them on the cardboard. Um, so once we get these trimmed up, we'll get them sanded, and then we'll add more epoxy, at least three layers of it, and then we'll do a final sand, and then we'll buff and see what they look like, but get them out pretty good. We'll see um, how they look like once we clean them all up. Got these uh, trimmed up. I took the Dremel, uh, cut them around here, cut all the excess material, cut the holes out, and then I sanded it to get it ready for the next uh, layer of uh, epoxy. Okay, so we got all these pieces all set up and ready for their um, next uh, epoxy coat. Got them all sanded up, wiped them down. This one here I've been working on too on the side. It's gonna be some blue carbon fiber. Okay guys, so look at these parts man, looking really good. Here's that blue one I've been working on, looks a little darker once it's wet, we'll see how it dries out. Alright guys, that is the second coat of epoxy right there. Really brings out the carbon fiber now. We got one more coat to do. And then uh, we'll let it cure overnight. Tomorrow we'll sand it down, give it a nice finish. And uh, I think we're going to be done here soon. This one still needs a little bit of work, but these are pretty much all ready to go. Also this one here for my steering wheel, a little custom color to it. All right guys, so this is the finished product. Came out real good. Got all these done already. Just working on these last two pieces here. Uh, this one's all sanded up. Gotta sand this one and one more coat of epoxy. And uh, we still have a little bit of material left. This was uh, 16 ounces, but it was enough for all this. Came out real good. So you guys can see this steering wheel cover came out real good. The uh, bezels for the shifter came out real good too. I've just got to finish these two up. This one here is going on my car. It's got a little blue carbon fiber effect. Really cool looking one. All right, so this is what we started with, something similar to this. The other one was black, and this is what we ended up with.
that regular carbon fiber looks really good got a couple different color options coming pretty soon let me know what you're looking for this right here is a uh, dragon blue so as you guys see I did a second batch the first one uh, didn't come out as good as I wanted but the second one did if you guys like the video if you guys have any questions about carbon fiber skinning please go ahead and drop your questions in the comments below if you have any questions about anything go ahead and put them in the comments below we will be also making parts if you guys are looking for some parts go ahead and dm me on my instagram at fontana performance and if uh, you guys really like the video go ahead and give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel it really helps us out we're also going to be uh, coming up with some new parts and we're also going to be doing some uh, progress videos on the car so stay tuned check us out peace out thank you Fire spreading all around my room My world's so bright It's hard to breathe But that's alright